Let's take a look at post sale rules you can use to automate listings. Post sale rules are associated with each listing. We'll take a look at a listing we've previously worked with. I'll click on my listings button and I'll scroll down to my widgets. We'll work with the metallic widgets so I'll click on the auction title to edit the listing. Listing rules are located near the bottom of the page. Just click on the Show Rules checkbox and you'll be presented with a list of rules you can modify. The first one is the Winning Bidder Email or WBE. In your InkFrog preferences, you can enter text for an email you'd like to be automatically generated to your winning bidders. This might contain basic payment information along with your address if you accept physical payments or you might want to simply set up a friendly thank you to let buyers know you appreciate their business. If you select an email here, InkFrog will automatically send your customized mail to the winning bidder. The next few rules deal with automatically relisting auctions. And there's two reasons you might want to consider using these. This can be a basic form of inventory management or fee control if an item isn't selling well. You can also use relisting to capture eBay's unsold item relisting credit. The first rule will allow you to automatically relist an auction if it is unsold a specified number of times. For example, you might want to select three times here. With this setting, InkFrog will automatically relist it after three unsuccessful sales. And that might be a good time to consider perhaps moving the auction to a store format item if it's not a real hot seller. The next rule deals with relisting items that are sold. And I could enable this rule and say for example that I have three of these metallic widgets. I might want to create a rule that tells InkFrog to relist this item twice if the item is successfully sold on eBay. And that'd be a very basic form of inventory management. The next rule deals with second chance offers. And this is essentially going to allow you to set a price that you'd like to sell this item at and anything above that price InkFrog will generate second chance offers for. So we could enable this rule and say that we'd like to sell these widgets anytime the bidding goes over $10. We'll enter $10 in our price field, and we'd like these offers to last for three days. The next rule deals with InkFrog's inventory management. Now this is more in-depth than the simple relisting rules, and we'll go over this more completely in another video, but if you do use InkFrog inventory, then enabling this option will cause your item to relist as long as you have at least one unit in your inventory. You can also specify when items should relist. So InkFrog can manage not only how many times you'd like to relist an item, but at what time it should relist. And you'll want to schedule this to begin at a time when you think your closing time will generate the highest sales. And this is obviously most critical for auction format listings. So say for example I want these auctions to relist at 8 o'clock in the evening and I want to give InkFrog a scheduling window of two hours. This two hour window gives InkFrog some time to work with in case eBay is perhaps busy or not currently accepting listings. If the relisting time is missed then the item will be scheduled for the next day at the scheduled listing time. It's also important to note that these rules can be used in combination with each other. So you could enable a relisting rule enable a second chance rule, and leave your scheduling enabled. In this scenario, this item would relist automatically if the item is unsold three times. It's also going to send second chance offers to bidders over the $10 amount that will last three days. The relistings that we scheduled up to three times are going to occur at 8 o'clock p.m. with a scheduled window of two hours. So if I were to launch this item right now, it would be launched to eBay, and then as the item ended on eBay, InkFrog would manage these post-sale rules that we've specified. 
If you're listing with post-sale rules, you may also run into a situation where you need to remove or add rules. We'll close the listing window and go to our InkFrog home screen. If you click on the View All Selling link, it's going to show all of your currently posted store and auction items on eBay. Select the items you'd like to work with, and then you'll notice there's a Post Sale Rules button up here. You can click this button, and you have the option to add rules or remove rules. If you remove rules, any of the post sale settings that you entered when you listed your item will be removed. So for example, relisting or inventory related rules or second chance offer rules. Those will all be removed. You could also add rules from your live listing screen. So I've selected two items and you'll notice I have the same rule options that I can set up right here on my currently running items. You'll want to consider how you can use these rules to automate your listing process and make sure that you're maximizing your unsold item relisting credits on eBay.